Hey guys, welcome back. Just check in and quick check in. Very happy. I'm home. I'm home uh, away from Slovenia. I'm here. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm here since Friday. Yeah, I got Friday, Saturday morning, very late Friday, early morning. So basically I'm home, back, happy. Couldn't be happier. Actually took my kid to the to see the Christmas show to the to the theater to the kids theater so we watched a play I was wearing my Universal Genève uh, and it was gorgeous I do love theater I enjoy that I miss that a lot and uh, at the theater lights and everything this watch was stunning this is my Universal Genève Paul router and uh, I took this watch uh, from the safe because I keep all my watches in safe because I'm away in Slovenia. And I took this watch because it's winter time. I like it. It kind of feels Christmassy, holiday, festive. And uh, the biggest reason, uh, well, there are two big reasons, is first of all, I enjoy dress watches and I enjoy a little bit of a shine and glimmer especially around this time of the year. And the second joy is that, uh, second reason is that um, I'm actually negotiating a deal for a uh, Navi timer. Uh, yeah, 42 mil Navi timer. I owned 46 Navi timer and uh, it was way too big for me. So I found this one. And negotiating uh, is a tough one. He's a tough son of a bitch this guy and uh, I love him but he's a hard negotiator he drives a hard bargain and uh, yeah but I don't really care that much about the watch I just want to buy a watch this year because this year I haven't had a major purchase and the year is running out and I feel bad at least every year <clears throat> I make one big purchase but I was away was away from watches and everything so if you don't count Maurice Lacroix and stuff like this I haven't made something big uh, addition to my collection and uh, Navy Timer uh, isn't really my first choice or that's why I also drive a bargain uh, because I don't really uh, I love Navy Timer. It's an icon. It's a great watch, but uh, it wasn't my first choice. It was this watch became available, and uh, I buy watches that are offered to me available, and uh, that some somehow some way I can make a good deal. So yeah, there's also an IWC in the. I'm thinking about, uh, but for the IWC, I would have to pay cash cash only and for this navy timer i can include this universal genève as a part of the deal that that's why i like it more but if it falls true i will probably uh try to secure the iwc but i don't care i learned that um the more watches i sell the more mistakes i make and uh, everything i buy it's pretty much okay so i don't want to necessarily sell to buy something I'm not in a rush, but I'm saying just it would be nice to add something new this year because I had a really rough 2022. I will remember this year a lot. Uh, the 2nd January, uh, someone very close to me and dear to my heart passed away uh, early in the February that same year, a month later, month, month and a half. Uh, I lost my father and uh, yeah, then I moved to Slovenia, started working there. It was shitty and sucked. And uh, after a couple of months, I settled in. I met some new people uh, there. I actually met a really cool guys there. And one of them has been watching me on my second channel and we became friends. He was quite elderly gentleman, but he was very cool. I, you know, one of those interesting guys. He is a he was a retired lawyer, and he had a lot of time. We hang around a lot, and he helped me out through his advice and through his contacts, and uh, definitely helped me. 
then he got sick, then he passed away. And uh, that was recently, uh, I went to his funeral and I was devastated because we didn't know each other for a long period, but became very close and I called him my friend. And I don't do that uh, too easily. And uh, yeah, he had a very cool watch he was wearing. It was Dornpluth and Zoon. Um, and uh, I was very tempted to ask uh, his widow, which I also know, his wife, uh, would she consider selling it? But it's kind of awkward and uh, the guy passed away and uh, she she knows I'm into watches, we, we are watch buddies, but uh, I haven't got around to asking it and I would love to have it as a keepsake memory of him. And it's a cool watch. It's a micro brand from Germany. Uh, if you haven't heard it, it's, they make some awesome watches, uh, handmade. And it does not cost a lot of money, but it's very awesome. Uh, so uh, I don't know, guys, what do you think? Should I ask? Um, I would love to have the watch as a, I would never sell it. Uh, I would love to have it as a memory of him. And uh, I would love to have it because it's a cool watch that I would love to have. And uh, But I'm kind of reluctant to inquire or ask. Uh, I don't know how should I proceed. Maybe if you have some ideas, uh, should I? Or should I just keep it, let it go? And uh, I would hate to think, I would hate if she would get rid of it or sell it to someone who just doesn't care. Uh, so I'm thinking about it uh, ever since he passed, but haven't got around to ask ask her. Uh, and uh, I'm not really sure is it a good idea. I, mean, I don't want to offend anyone, but I would want to have something as a memory and I would pay it, of course. Uh, and uh, But I think it's kind of awkward. So do write me in the comment section, what do you think uh, should I do? And uh, yeah, it's been a hard year. Uh, this is this will be my last video for 2022. And I say good riddance of this year. Hopefully uh, the next one will be much, much better. And uh, yeah, wish you all the best in the new year. Happy holidays and uh, may DC Gunner and I'm out.